Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Penny. Uh, it's great to meet you. Um, welcome back to my existing subscribers and uh, thank you for getting me over 2000. I'm over the moon. I don't expect to stay there because every time I say this, I lose a couple. But I know that I've reached it a couple of times now. I reached it, then they dropped off, then I reached it again, then they dropped off, but I've reached it again, guys. And I'm absolutely over the moon. So yeah, thank you. Today I've got you a video. It's um, gifted. It's a pair of trainers from the company called Fitville. Now I've worked with Fitville before and um, I've had two really nice pairs of trainers off them. So Fitville specialise in wide toe boxes. So your toes are not all scrunched together. They, they can breathe, they can move. Um, and they help with foot, knee, toe and ankle pain just reading that by there but i know that without having to tell you because um i am that person that suffers with all those pains i've got osteo and i've also got fibro um i walk with a crutch or a stick um i'm unsteady i've got an unsteady gait i trip over all the time i'm all over the place so comfort is key for me um, I just need to wear sensible, comfortable shoes. I can't wear heels anymore as much as I would like to. I mean, when you've got a dress on, you want to finish them with a nice pair of heels. I can't. My high heel days are long and truly gone. So, yeah, I'm happy to be able to bring you these trainers. They're gorgeous. I really love these. I have been wearing them. I can insert a little bit of footage. Um, and I've got an insane code for you guys. They're offering 28% off if you say BPB28. I'll put it all on the screen and I'll link it below. And I'll link the um, the company themselves, Fitville. I'll link them be below. So they say, liberate your toes. I have gone for the... Rebound Core. Now, I went for Rebound Core last time, but I had the pink and grey, pink, blue and grey, actually. Um, and I wore them and wore them and wore them. I'm still wearing them. They're really super duper comfy. Um, and this is the Rebound Core, but these are in Caramel Mocha. They're stunning, guys. I love, well, I love them and I think they're stunning. They're very neutral. They go with anything. Now, they're not wrapped up as they would have been because I have been wearing them. But I've put them back in the box for you. I'm going to take them back out now. They just remind me of a cup of caramel mocha with whipped cream. Because they've got all those lovely sort of mocha and caramel and cream colours. Aren't they stunning? I'm going to show you one at a time. So they've got a little logo there. They're not um, branded in your face. There's no logos on the back. There's just this little logo here, which, I mean, it doesn't even stand out. You wouldn't even know. And um, a very little logo there on the, um, the tongue. They're lovely. They really are. I mean, look at the colours. They've got a breathable bit there for your toes and they are really padded, really soft. They spring as you walk in. They lace up at the front, obviously, but I don't like trainers laced right up to the top hole. I always undo one, do them up and tuck them, <laughs> if I can do it. Tuck them under so that all you're seeing is that you're not tripping over laces. They're not coming undone. That's how I wear mine anyway. So, yeah, I've been wearing them. They're a little dirty on the bottom. Not too much so. And I can confirm that they are very, very comfortable. And um, basically, you don't know you're wearing them. They don't help with my uh, <coughs> my unsteadiness on my feet, sadly. <laughs> If only, I mean, I'm still tripping over and falling to the side. And I mean, that's just me, guys. That's just my two illnesses. They make me um, look like I'm drunk most of the time. <laughs> I'm not. But, you know, they, you would think I was drunk because I walk into walls. We both do, Howard and I. We bounce off walls as we're walking along, don't we? <laughs> so, yeah, 
Um, they don't help with that, sadly, but they do help with foot pain, ankle pain, and dare I say it, knee pain, because they're so comfortable and there's no um, strain on your knees because the, um, the feet and toes are supported and they're bouncing. I mean, they're called rebound core. So I guess rebound means that they bounce and they sure do because they're really soft. So yeah, that. Would you, would you recommend them? I, uh, would you recommend them? I just said to recommend them. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Howard's trying to teach his granny how to suck eggs. <laughs> That's an old saying my mum used to say. I don't know if it's um, all over their place or whether it's just a Welsh saying. <laughs> but yeah, I would recommend them. I'd recommend you invest if you suffer like me. Well, even if you don't, I'd recommend you invest and take advantage of the 28% off, guys. I don't know how much they are on the website. I really don't. But um, I'm going to be looking myself using my own code because I know they've got these trainers in black as well. And I wouldn't mind them. I wouldn't mind the black pair. So, yeah, happy as Larry with these. Thank you, Fitville. Um, I really do appreciate you sending them to me. And um, yeah, I hope I can work with you again. And I hope I've done your trainers justice. They're absolutely stunning, guys. Love them. Anyway, on to the next portion of this video. you know who I am if you knew you won't I'm Penny are you um yeah so today we're popping to the charity shop to drop some stuff off this isn't a good angle for me to drop some stuff off and I thought I'd give you all a bit of a catch-up so sad news guys last week we lost our little bunny our little thumper he was I'm saying nine, he's coming up to nine at least, eight or nine. And he was the sweetest little thing, wasn't he? Yeah. He belonged to our daughter, but we all loved him, Howard in particular. He used to go out and feed him and have their, have their little time together, their little chats. We used to have lots of chats, actually. Yeah, even though every time Howard put his hand in to feed him, Thumper would grunt. It was like this little snuffle thing that he used to do. It was so sweet. And Howard always jumped. So he's not going to bite you. But he always had this, like, knee-jerk reaction. Pull his hands away, quick. But he was my friend. He was everyone's friend. He was a lovely little thing. He was so cute. So, yeah, we lost him, guys. It was really, really sad. We were all sad. My daughter was heartbroken because he was hers, you know. So, that, that was a sad thing. Um, and it was only four months since we lost our Deezy. So, not good. Anyway, moving on from that, a couple of weeks ago. Why did you have to have a routine blood test, by the way, first of all? I don't know. Oh, weeks, medication review. Oh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a medication review. He's by there, he's driving. Um, and they said that they wanted to do a blood test. So they did this blood test, and he had a text out of the blue saying, your blood test indicates you've got diabetes. Which, you know, was shocking. Didn't expect to hear that through a text. You would at least expect a phone call, you know? So, yeah, he was waiting and waiting oh and then he has another text do nothing we'll contact you when an appointment's available well they didn't say how long that could be you know whether it was a nurse appointment a doctor's appointment there was no information guys at all um and you were just left hanging weren't you yeah. so <laughs> don't say that <laughs> so um anyway he did have an appointment too and that was for today and we went this morning and we saw a lovely lady, didn't we? We did. Who said that he was only just on the cusp of diabetes. Um, I do that because when people say on the cusp. <laughs> so basically, he 
just he's just fallen into the range of being diabetic um, and I didn't know the difference between type 1 and type 2 and I was freaking out at the thought of him having to have injections and stuff and that was type 1 so he doesn't have type 1 he's got type 2 um, and I did ask could it develop into type 1 and she said well it could but it's not likely to happen now I'm taking this from a healthcare professional guys just taking her at her word so we've got another appointment I say we <laughs> I go with him he's got another appointment on the 30th and he'll be given more information then but she said it's just one of those things loads of people are walking around with it and don't even know um you've just got to be careful because of his MS and his pancreatitis just being mindful of what you're eating it can be controlled by diet some people have even reversed it by diet my friend Pauline who's usually watching hi Pauline she told me that she'd reversed hers by diet so hopefully and fingers crossed we'll be able to do that I she gave me a website I haven't gone on it yet um, it was only this morning that we went to the doctors so yeah hopefully that's the case we'll be able to reverse it for him and no medication will be needed if he's not able to be um, he's gonna have regular regular diabetes checkups now as well as the other stuff but if they see that the blood yeah if they see that the bloods are showing that it's getting higher and it hasn't been able to be reversed it then, to have a then they're going to possibly give tablets, but he doesn't need them at the minute. He's only on the cusp. <laughs> on the cusp. On the cusp. Yeah. So yeah, it was a bit of a a bit of a strange Even thing. The really. nurse said he was wrong. Yeah, the nurse was disgusted that they'd had a um, a text message sorry you're scratching my eye she said it was wrong she said because if they'd sent that to an older person you know it could have freaked them right out well it did freak us right out yeah. <laughs> so yeah anyway it was done is done she said you could complain about it will. You, will. you will yeah you shouldn't have been told like that yeah. so anyway yeah it's good it's good. We'll sort it. Like we sort we every bloody <laughs> thing else. <laughs> we always sort everything. We That's do. our bit of our motto, isn't yeah. it? We can sort it. Yeah, it doesn't cost a look, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't cost a look. Mm -hmm. And he's saying that because he says, I'm just going to drop this stuff off to the charity shop. I said, I'll oh, come. You know what that means, guys. <laughs> no, it doesn't cost a look. Hauling came in. <laughs> in other news, Luna had her little groom yesterday. She hadn't been done for a while. Um, yeah, she had it done yesterday. And she looks absolutely gorgeous. Whenever she has a groom, it makes her look like a puppy again. It just makes her look small and really, really cute. So yeah, she's fine. She's had her groom. All the other pets are doing well, apart from poor Thumper, that is. Um, yeah, nothing else to report at the minute. It's enough, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> we've had another HelloFresh box delivery, so I'm really looking, really enjoying those. I mean, that's going to help with his diabetes because it's all fresh. Yeah. There's no rubbish in there. No. So it's not just sugar, guys. I mean, it could be carbohydrates. It could be all, any number of things that causes your, your body to get diabetic. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about yet. So yeah, we're going to be looking at, not just sugar, we're going to be looking at all sorts of stuff. But you do have to cut out all the snacking. I do not snack. And if he can't snack, that means I can't snack. So hopefully we'll both lose a bit of weight. <laughs> he shouts at me and says I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, I do tend to do that. But it's the hidden sugars, isn't it? You don't really know what you're eating. You've got to read all the labels and everything. But yeah together so we're gonna go to the charity shop i'm gonna have a little look around i've got a few bits at home anyway guys from recent looks in charity shops so hopefully if i pick up a few bits i will do a haul but i'm not picking up just for the sake of it if i pick up anything i want 
Oh, really? It should be anything I need, shouldn't it? Because uh, yes. we're overrun with things I wanted. <laughs> but we are being good. We are dropping stuff off. We've got a car full at the back there of stuff to drop off. Just hope they're taking it. Yeah. Last time we came down, they said that they're not taking um, charity shop stuff. No, they're not taking donations into the charity. Listen, guys, I'm muddling up my words here, something terrible. Have you been watching Big Brother or EastEnders? Because I've been hooked on both. I stopped watching EastEnders for a couple of years and I started watching it again at Christmas time. And ever since then, I have been hooked. So it's been nearly a year now that I've been back into EastEnders. Oh, guys, it's race weekend this weekend. They had a long, long break, a few weeks. So yeah, I'm really excited. You know I love my Formula One and Big Brother. Have you been watching it? I have, or well, we have. The three of us have, half and we. Me, him and our daughter. Oh, what do you think about Lily, guys? She's doing my bloody head in. Disgusting. She is so, oh. She's a dirty little grub. And they can say, oh yeah, but she's only 20. So what? That's an adult. She acts like a blooming child. She screams at everything. And guys, if you don't watch it, this is going to be TMI. But like, she picks her nose and flicks it or eats it. She's disgusting. So yeah, I am hooked. Anyway, we're at the charity shop now, guys. So I'll pick you back up later. Hi, guys. I'm coming to you from my bed. You never, well, you sometimes see this side of me, but I don't show it that often, but I do often do health talks and um, I just want to explain why I haven't been around for the last couple of weeks. Um, I can't even remember what my last video was, um, some sort of vlog, and I said see you next week. I can't remember, guys, but yeah, um, as you know, I have got osteoarthritis, I've got fibromyalgia, and I've got something stuck to my lip <laughs> and I've got a multitude of other things that go along with um those illnesses those conditions um basically they all come under the umbrella of chronic health and I can tell you guys they suck my walking has gotten worse um I'm unsteady on my feet this is down to the osteo now my kneecaps are just wearing away and the oste osteoarthritis is spreading it's in my spine it's in my wrist on my left side um it's in my elbows it's everywhere it's in some of my fingers my toes my ankles <laughs> so yeah i i'm not in a good way if the truth be told so this is why I haven't filmed because the pain, the actual pain that I'm in, you can see it in my face, guys. And I just didn't want to come on you, woe is me, moaning when I'm not all about that. I'm on about I'm all about positivity and keeping it real. Well, this is real, isn't it? But keeping it real, being positive, being happy and sometimes i just can't can't do that so yeah so it's my walking it's the pain i'm feeling just by standing on my feet um if i stand up my back is excruciating so i'm sat down a lot um you'll say move more and it won't hurt so much but it do guys it really does um i'm living on a cocktail of medicines tablets and not feeling great at the moment. Um, neither's Howard, truth be told. His MS is progressing. Uh, yeah, between us, we're a right pair. We've barely left the house in two weeks. Um, we've gone out for some shopping, little corner shop shopping. We haven't even gone to the supermarket, guys. Um, we don't really need to because we have HelloFresh and that's helping. That's helping me cook um, nutritious uh, nutritious meals without even having to think about it or having to go and buy ingredients. So that's one thing. But like the things that we run out of on the daily, just basics, you know. We've got a brilliant corner shop, literally on the corner. 
and um, we can go there take the car it takes like 20 seconds <laughs> but you know i'd rather take the car than risk falling over trying to walk and that's the stage that i'm at um i'll be on a walker soon like howard who knew chronic illness would cause all these extra problems i mean I just thought when they told me that my cartilage had been removed and I had bone on bone, I just thought, you know, can't be that bad. <laughs> it is. It really is. Um, I'm not considering a knee replacement at this point. Um, I'm going to leave that as long as I possibly can because I've heard some horror stories and people who have had them have had all sorts of things go wrong and i mean yeah they're in the minority most people who have them have a good success rate but because i've already had one bad experience with surgery for my knees i um i'm reluctant to go again and have another one so yeah i won't be thinking about that at the moment i'm covered in bruises guys I'll insert some pictures up by here if it's not too much TMI. <laughs> um, I've fallen over a few times and I've given myself some lovely bruises. <laughs> Anyone would think I was in my bloody 80s or 90s, wouldn't they? <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I haven't been. Um, why, oh, God's sake, I can't speak. Why I haven't been uploading. Um, I will be endeavouring to update oh god guys my fibro i've got the wrong words not update upload i will be endeavouring to upload some nice content soon <laughs> but at the minute i'm just in so much pain i can't even hold this for long i'm swapping hands i don't know if you can see with the shadows but i'm swapping hands constantly because my arms are just really in pain i had a flu jab in this arm and that's you know th there's no evidence of that i'm gonna lump any pain from that but the arm itself is killing me i can't lift it and same with this one that's holding the camera at the minute i'm gonna have to change in a second because that one's painful oh god any recommendations guys to help me I'm on my normal tablets, but is there anything you guys can recommend that would help with pain other than put up with it? <laughs> Which isn't good. Oof. Anyway, um, I don't even know what else to say. This was just a chronic health talk. For those of you who are new and you don't know, um, I live with my husband Howard, he's got MS and pancreatitis. I've got, as I said, osteoarthritis and fibromyalgia. So we've both got chronic illness and I don't know what else I can say about that. <laughs> we both suffer on the daily, but we both try to stay on the happy side and be positive about it. But at the minute I can't and I'm waffling. I am waffling. I don't know what else to say to you guys. Oh, anyway, bye for now.